The Shoulder Dolly Pro Lift system is designed for the professional mover or for people who will use the tool on a daily basis. Take a few minutes to watch this video and learn the lifting technique. Your Shoulder Dolly Pro Lift system comes with two fully adjustable padded harnesses, two specialty tension buckles, four locking carabiners, and one 12 foot length of five inch wide webbing. The Pro Lift in this video is yellow for demonstration purposes only. The actual product is black. Each lifter will put the harness on at the same manner as a vest or a shirt. Buckle the jet strap. Do not tighten it. Once the harness is on, the webbing will have an H appearance. There are two tension buckles on the sides of the harness. These tension buckles should rest on the front of your shoulders so that the triangular pieces of hardware should be resting at your sides. Always make sure, when using the harness, the neckline of the harness lies away from your neck as shown. Your shoulder dolly pro lift will come fully assembled. However, should you want to take it apart and reassemble it, here are the directions. Each harness in the kit comes with a five inch specialty tension buckle and two locking carabiners. The locking carabiners attach to the holes in the top of the metal buckle. The two carabiners are then attached to the two triangular rings on the hardware that glide up and down each side of the webbing. Be sure when attaching the carabiners to the harness that the webbing on the harness is not twisted. At this point, the two lifters should be wearing the harnesses with the attached metal triangle rings, the locking carabiners, and the 5 inch special detention buckle. The next step is to thread the 5 inch webbing through the special detention buckle. Make sure the webbing is flat, not twisted. Take the end of the webbing through the back of the tension bar then over and down through the special detention bars. You will need to adjust the length of the strap to fit each individual item. To decrease the length of the webbing between the buckles, grasp the webbing, hold the buckle horizontal, and pull the webbing through one or both of the specialty buckles. To increase the length of the webbing in the buckle, turn one or both buckles horizontal and pull the body portion of the webbing. How to lean the object back and place the lifting strap underneath. Or if the object has clearance, just slide the lifting strap under the object. Take the end of the webbing through the back of the tension bar, then over and down through the specialty tension bars. For balance, you may need to adjust the strap due to the height of the lifters. The taller lifter will have more webbing from the bottom of the object to the tension buckle. The shorter lifter will have less webbing from the bottom of the object to the tension buckle. It is important for both lifters to communicate with each other to determine how deep they are in a squat, and how much slack they have with the webbing. If the object is too tall, look around the object to see each other. Push away from the object and lift with your legs. Keep your arms straight as you stand up. This will ensure that you are in a proper alignment. If it is not level after you stand up, you can level it by taking the higher side and pushing the object with your knees and pulling the object down. The person whose side of the object is lower can help by pushing on the side of the object near the top. If that does not work, set the object back on the ground and readjust the webbing in the tension buckle. Whenever you are carrying anything with another person, teamwork is very important. The lead person has to always watch where their footing is and look for obstacles in their way and let the other person know and warn the other about obstacles. Good communication is essential. This is especially true when moving tall objects because the person who is following cannot see very far ahead. The lead person, therefore, must warn the other about bumps, curves, stairs, and other obstacles. You might develop a common vocabulary for specific situations such as doors, stairs, and other obstacles that may cause confusion when lifting and carrying the object. The Pro Lift is an ideal tool for taking objects up and down stairs. The key to this maneuver is to make sure that the object is lifted higher than normal, ideally about 12 inches. That allows for clearance over the stair and it won't crowd to the top of the person's footing. 
the lower lifter must fully extend and lock their arms before going up and down the stairs. If the object is sliding on the webbing, then you are not using the system correctly. The person who is lower on the stairs should lower their hands on the object. The issue may be that the person who is lower on the stairs is pushing at too much of an upward angle, or they may be placing their hands too high up on the object. The pro lift in this video is yellow for demonstration purposes only. The actual product is black. After the doors are open, you will notice that you can see through the crack between the refrigerator door and the refrigerator. This will be helpful when negotiating the fridge to the doorway. After the doors are open and the fridge is lifted, the person following must swing towards the front of the fridge. Then the lead person will begin moving the fridge door through the doorway. As soon as the hinge of the fridge is through the doorway, the hinge will be squared up so that it is going straight through the door. You move straight through the doorway while the hinge of the following person's door inside is about to touch the doorway. Then the lead person will move the front of the fridge through the door, then the back person will move the rear of the fridge through the door. Remember, communication is key. Both lifters need to remain in constant communication with each other during the entire process. 